Hello YouTube. I'm back again. I um I'm here to talk about being prepared as usual. I mean, we were prepared, we got everything locked up tight. We had our bug in location, everything seemed to be good and uh and all of a sudden we realized that we forgot something. And we need to make a trade. Uh let's say uh me I forgot diapers. Not adult diapers, but diapers for my grandson. And I wasn't thinking about it because I don't know. You can't really uh, store diapers because they grow so fast and they outgrow them. But what if something happened and you needed diapers that fit him right now? And uh, and uh, let's say nobody's taking money anymore. And all you got is your barter items. You got your high value items, your high value preps, and your low value preps. You know, your your high value preps is like rechargeable batteries, water, food, guns, you know, uh rubbing alcohol, medicine and uh ammo, radios and stuff, toilet paper, stuff like that. And then you got your low value preps, you know, which is uh for me it'd be cigarettes and tobacco because I don't smoke, uh candy, uh the the soaps and, and uh romaine noodles and uh latex gloves, uh Vienna sausages, Kool Aid, stuff like that. And you need to make a trade. Let's say you're going to make a trade with the lady across the street who uh, has a kid about the same size you got. She has diapers, and you need diapers. Let's say uh, you want to trade her some uh, Kool-Aid because people are going to get tired after a while of drinking the same water all the time because Pop will be gone probably. And uh, you want to trade her uh, some Kool-Aid. Uh, maybe she might say, well, I don't want no Kool-Aid, but do you have coffee? You know, I don't drink coffee, but we have coffee. We might trade on some coffee. I mean, you might have to do stuff like that because I, I don't have gold and silver. I mean, I, I can't afford to prep that. I mean, it would be nice, but you know, I don't have gold and silver. But I'm just saying that when you go traveling and you go to these hotels, like I do a lot of traveling since I've been retired. I've been doing a lot of that. But you, you know, when you go in there and you go in your room and they got all this stuff on the bathroom stuff the, the lotions and the soap and everything like that that's yours because by law once it's open and once they put it in there they can't reuse it that's yours so you can take that and, and put that in your uh, low value prep box that's what I'm going to call it to trade for stuff like that that you might forget maybe you might want to throw some romaine noodles a deck of cards and some uh, latex gloves in there because you never know who might want to trade with you I'm just I'm not talking about the first day or the second day. I'm talking about after a while. Maybe after four to five weeks, people started realizing that they didn't prep enough. And some people might really that realize that they prepped too much. And then you can start some kind of interchange because, like I said, you don't know what the money going to be worth. I mean, you might go over there and try to sell them, give them something, and they don't want what you got. So you might have to uh, make make deals. Because I know uh, a while back in the city of Cleveland, before they changed the law, people used to go to these gas stations and these corner stores, and they used to buy individual cigarettes for 35 to 40 cents for one cigarette. So cigarettes and coffee, that's going to be like gold out there. So I'm just saying, um, don't, I would say don't barter alcohol or ammo if you can absolutely avoid that because... That might come back on you. A drunken neighbor with a gun <laughs> might decide that they want to take what you got. So I will avoid doing that if you could. Okay, then YouTube, I don't have too much to say today. We got four inches of snow out there. Have a good day.